Hello viewers and welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we will talk about Saudi Arabia's $1 trillion mega project. So let's dive into the video. The line is a linear smart city under construction in Saudi Arabia in Neom, Taba province, which is designed to have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions. The 170 kilometer long, 110 miles city is part of Saudi Vision 2030 project which Saudi Arabia claims will create around 460,000 jobs and add an estimated $48 billion to the country's GDP. The line is planned to be the first development of a $500 billion project in Neom. The city's plans anticipate a population of 9 million, though Saudi Arabia has a population of 35.5 million. Excavation work had started along the entire length of the project by October 2022. The project has faced criticism over its impact on the environment and the current population of the area, as well as doubts about its technological and economic viability. The line is planned to be 170 kilometers, 110 miles long, preserving 95% of the nature within Neom. It will stretch from the Red Sea approximately to the city of Tabuk. It is intended that it will have 9 million residents, resulting in an average population density of 260,000 people per square kilometer by comparison. Manila, the world's most densely populated city in 2020, had a density of 44,000 slash came to. The line's plan consists of two mirrored buildings with an outdoor space in between, having a total width of 200 meters, 660 feet, and a total height of 500 meters, 1,600 feet. The plan is for the city to be powered entirely by renewable energy. It will consist of three layers, one on the surface for pedestrians, one underground for infrastructure, and another underground for transportation. Artificial intelligence will monitor the city and use predictive and data models to find ways to improve daily life for its citizens, with residents being paid for submitting data to the line. The estimated building cost is 100 US dollars 200 billion, 400 to 700 billion SAR, with some estimates as high as 1 trillion dollars. It is claimed by the Saudi government that it will create 460,000 jobs, spur economic diversification, and contribute 180 billion SAR, 48 billion US dollars, to domestic GDP by 2030. The line. The plan for the line was announced on 10 January 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in a presentation that was broadcast on state television. Earthworks began in October 2021, and the first residents were expected to move in during 2024. As of July 2022, the first phase of the project was scheduled to be completed in 2030. Bin Salman, also chairman of the NEO and board of directors, released a statement and promotional video on 25 July 2021, which led to more widespread media coverage of the project. This raised questions about the merits of the design and environmental issues, with critics concerned that the project would create a dystopian and artificial facility that had already displaced the Huaytat indigenous tribe and would impact the migration of birds and wildlife. Excavation progress of the line, marked with blue arrows, 150 kilometers ruler for scale, October 2022. In October 2022, drone footage released by Otsky confirmed that construction on the line was underway and excavation works were taking place along the entire length of the project. The line will consist of connected communities which are called modules. The total structure will consist of 135 modules of each 800 meters in length and 500 meters tall. The project management had all architects sign confidentiality agreements, which is why there are no references to the line on any of the websites. German newspaper Seduchi Zeitung found out that two well-known architects terminated their participation in the project due to human rights and ecological concerns. Norman Foster and Francine Haubin from Mekanu. The paper also reported that several high-ranking architects are still on board. David Ajay. Ben Van Berkel, Massimiliano Fuchses, the London office of the late Zaha Hadid, Rem Koolhaas, the Laboratory for Visionary Architecture, as well as De Lugan Meisel and Wolf D. Pricks from Coop Himmel Bulal. The Seduci criticized the lack of sustainability and the prevailing double standards of the architects in moral issues. 
by March 2023, more than 4,500 piles had been driven in Module 43, reaching a peak of 60 piles a day. From this point on, Piling work is shifting towards Module 45, 46, and 47, which are located at the marina. Excavation of about 1 million cubic meters of earth is taking place each week at the marina. So this was our today's video. I hope you all like it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.